we stand by our reputation. You know, I, I came to the KHMH as CEO in 2008, and what the KHMH provided me was very simple. It provided me with a job as CEO, and it provided me with an opportunity to serve the people of my country. And I have not asked for anything else. So that's the bottom line. And there's no one who can accuse me of personally benefiting from any corrupt or fraudulent practice at the KHMH. No one. There has never been any contention of fraudulent or corrupt practice by the external auditors during this entire time. The 2012 special audit also did not find any fraudulent or corrupt practice in the matters investigated and reported on. In its response, the KHMH administration has provided reasoned explanations for on matters reported either as non-adherent to policy requirements, incomplete, or undocumented. Every single item covered in this audit has documentary evidence to substantiate the responses given by the KHMH administration. If the media requires to see any additional evidence, this can be facilitated afterwards. The Auditor General, in her report, has made a series of recommendations aimed at improving transparency and accountability in the various areas at the hospital. The KHMH administration welcomes these recommendations, many of which have already been implemented or are in the process of being implemented. The, the audit was fairly wide-ranging, so you, and, but it's in separate sections to, do, to deal with the issues that were reported in the media. Uh, foreign purchases, supplies issues, contracts, and the corporate credit card. Uh, in some instances, we differ in our opinion with the auditors. Uh, several items that were listed, um, almost a page of items that were listed as not documented, actually were documented, but they chose to record it as not documented when in fact it was maybe incomplete documentation. But there's documentation of every single thing that was investigated. This um, label of ghost companies came up out of the blue. Um, I found it a bit amusing, uh, actually, because we, we maintain on file all the relevant documents relating to all companies that we do business with. This means their um, company registration and their certificates of good standing and their licenses or certificates to do business in the States or in Europe or wherever they do business. So we have every foreign company properly documented. So there's nothing ghostly about these companies.